Are you going to go down and tell him that you said he was an old guy? No, he probably can still outrun me, so I'm just going to say it up here where he can't oh, hear me. Fair. He won't He won't watch this until next week. All right. <laughs> All right. Conversion, the spare conversion, and we're even through seven frames in the Kent Duke match. Has it. Walter Ray now in the ninth frame. And then could shoot 279 and lose by 21 feet. He hasn't lost this match yet. I know, but he could lose by 21 with a 279. Consider that, folks. Ninth frame. He's right in this, Earl. He hasn't lost. He's only down 11 pins. Well, I, I know. And you know what I'm sure is in his mind, no matter whether he loses or wins, is shoot as many pins as he can, get as many pins as he can, because this is, there's three more, there's two more games to get into the championship match. It's total pins, three games, just to get there. Doug Kent, frame eight. Oh, now that's a real solid eight. He, the head pin came off the wall. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's just tough luck there for Doug Kent, but... Uh, Again, it's three games. Just keep making your spares. And David Ozio. Ozio trying for nine. He still needs one in the tenth to lock it up, Earl. That's right. That's exactly right. And and as you mentioned, it's on the toughest of the three four lanes. And Walter Ray, you can see his reaction. Uh, he's been in this situation before. He's, he's had 300. This. He's, he's had 300s bowled against him. He knows what it's all about. And I tell you, both of them know there is that $10,000 bonus on the line too. You know, David, who's guaranteed at least 16,000 for fourth place plus the five. If he got an extra 10 right here, they really help him relax. And look at it from the other side of the coin. He could make $75,000 in prize money this right. week with the five you're always, you're always looking at it that way. That's the way I always look at it. Look from the positive side. Norm Duke. Still in a tough match right here. And he takes an 11-pin lead right there. David Ozio re-racked for the first ball in the 10th frame. Wants to make sure all 10 pins are to his liking. Big shot right here. He locks up the match with a strike. All right, we see Duke and Kent right now. Duke leading by 11 going into the 9th frame. For the win in the opening match. He has it. What a way to start. This crowd is going crazy. I'm telling you, they're hopping all over the place. Duke, ninth frame. With the crowd shouting right through the heart. That's twice. That's twice, uh, and he's broken them up both times. Big break there. We're going to take another look at David Ozio's reaction to that ball in the 10th frame. And you can see he was airborne for a little while there. Don't fall off, David. It's a big drop. All right. We're 11 in a row. Oh. Got a little soft with it, Mike. What do you think? So much emotion on that first one. No question. But that, again... He was aware of the $10,000, and I'm sure that was in the back of his mind. I got an off to pick up a little more money here. Of course, we got a lot of games left. It could well, still right, happen. Right now, he's going to get at least 87 plus 30, 117 pins in this opening match. Mm -hmm. And then even at that, uh, he could only be, say, 42 ahead of Walter Ray, <laughs> <laughs> who lost the match. David Ozio, 287. This is a big ball right here for, for Doug Kent because he's still in a match here. Perfect. Perfect. He trails by an even 10, but he could shut him out if he strikes out. Well, they could go to a tie, possible tie, if they both strike out. You're right. And, uh, you know, so every ball is so important. Remember the 30 bonus pins, and everything carries forward. Walter Ray, never say die, Walter Ray. He, you know, he could finish with 11 strikes in this game and actually get more strikes than David and lose the game. That's right. It depends on where you get them. Got to get them in a row. Okay, the big shot of the match for Doug Kent. Needs this one. Very Solid bad. eight on this lane, the last frame. Boy, he hit that one hard. Nothing solid there. They're all in the pit. What a field we've got here. Four oh. really talented players. And, you know, you look out there and you look at Doug Kent and you say, this guy doesn't have a chance against these guys. But as I mentioned, he's won the American Bowl of Congress Masters Championship. So he's been there. Look at Walter Rago. Tremendous crowd here in Richmond, Virginia. The Arthur Ashe Center. And they're getting a great show for their money, I'll tell you, you what. Bet. 
You know why? When you said the fastest 90 minutes in bowling, I think it's because your heart's pounding the whole time, Mike. It's unbelievable. Well, Doug Kent seems cool and collected without that heart pounding. Yeah, but I'll bet you if you had, you could take his pulse. You see some of those deep breaths he's taken down. He knows if he gets every pin here, Duke has to get all three strikes in the tenth. Walter Ray just filling it up now. 279. Nine. Eleven strikes and he loses. David Ozio, though, he ain't moving. I think he's staying right there on three. That, I'm just going to say, I wonder what he's going to do because next, next he bowls Doug Kent. And we can see the final score of the opening match. Now, Doug Kent, if he strikes, it's 228. And he can't lose. Boy, Boy, it, it, it was there. It was there. You can see uh, the, the good sportsmanship here. Even though they're bowling for an unbelievable amount of money, this is a tremendous prize fund. AMF has put it together, and they've done a wonderful job promoting it. Uh, Dick Weber, of course, makes it pretty easy to promote with a name like that. Now, three in a row here, just a tie. And if that happened, uh, they would both get, what, 43 pins? They would split the bonus, 15 bonus pins apiece. 43 total over a 200. Everything is based on 200. Anything over is plus, anything under is a minus. What's amazing, you know, Norm Duke is such a cool player. Last year's player of the year, and, you know, pressure just seems never to bother him. Of course, all these guys are, are He looks cool for it. He actually he looks loves for it. it. Yeah, he, he loves it. it. You know, and, and our namesake here, Dick Weber, is the same way. He loves to be in the situation where he has to, has to perform. And I asked him about that once, and Dick Weber said, well, I'm a ham. I just love to be out there in front of a group of people and show them what I'm capable of doing. And it's a, he's a phenomenal clutch player, Dick Weber, and Norm Dukes have the same cloth. Strike here, and we tie at 228, but there's no two-frame roll-off. Now, they just split the bonus pins of 30 pins for winning the game. Each would wind up with 43. Every pin, so important. For the tie. Has it. Little guy with a big heart. Well, four great games, not an open from any of the players. 228 to 228, 287 to 279. Hey, folks, can it get any better than this? It may in the second game. In the meantime, though, we're going to have an average builder here about automatic scoring. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> 